Universally acclaimed as the worst owners in the Premier League pretty much now, as a Bolton fan then being the leaders of the ESL Parasites, it would have completely detrimented the English Football League, all of the pyramid. For United fans though it's much more prevalent. This is a club that cranked up the season tickets in 2009 that has relied on Sir Alex Ferguson's Champions League football to pay off the £40 million interest payments actually by the club. In the last decade they spent hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds to pay off debts, dividends, sacked managers and the occasionally overpriced disappointing footballer. Manchester United have the biggest commercial presence in British football. They make a profit almost every year, but you wouldn't think that when it's time to get the wallet out. Manchester United fans have had enough, and today we're going to look at the protest to get them out. In a dirty rider. <laughs> no places gonna die. I'll be killing, I don't know. Pussy him up for me to jump, but I know the place is gonna die. have somehow managed to get themselves on the pitch so the game might even get pulled up at this rate. I don't know how they've done that. I've left now, I've gone because it got really messy then and I don't want to go back to it. It had been mostly a peaceful process until then. People were being loud, there was a few bottles being thrown around, but apart from that it was peaceful. <laughs> Next to me 
there was, I could see there was two brothers who were really nice. There's like a seven or eight year old boy. And it just was all fine. Now, I don't know if something happened a little bit further away that was nearer to the police that made them just change. They switched. They were fine. They were just there, the police, and all of a sudden they just switched. When we walked away, there was a guy covered in blood. And this situation that happened, the police got their batons out and started hitting people. And people were saying, we're trying to go back, we're trying to get back. But it was impossible because there was gates, these red gates either side. So some of the United fans picked up the red gates and started to put them back over. Now on the other side, they were actually trying to throw them at the police. On our side, they were just trying to put them in front of us so that we could keep moving back. But if you were the police, you don't know what's going on in that situation. So that made them even more angry. And so they were swearing, they were shouting, they were hitting with the batons. Now there was a police officer who seemed to understand that there was a few of us that were saying we're trying to get back and he said I need to push you back, I need to keep pushing you back, I'm not, I don't want to and he was being quite calm which helped the situation because I must admit when there was someone next to me saying that their legs were shaking and they were going and they were panicking and there's a seven year old next to me, it was start to get, it was starting to get a bit worrying. So yeah, things got a bit messy then. I thought it was definitely time to leave. But up until then, they were making their voice heard, the Manchester United fans. They were doing it in as much a peaceful way as possible whilst being loud. And it was the minority that were finding themselves in the stadium on the pitch and causing more than needed to be caused but they were definitely making themselves heard. And you've got to say, why has it come to this? Because these protests weren't happening weeks ago. They've not been happening for the 15 or whatever years that the Glazers have been in power. And of course, all these problems, but the Super League has been the lava coming out of the volcano. It has caused so much distrust. It's caused so much discontent and anger in those Manchester United fans, in fans up and down the country. And it's caused a boiling pot like this. And it's not good to see. So if I was the Glazers looking at this, Joel Glazer, I would be ashamed of myself that I've let it come to this and he needs to go.